Hello, this is Gene Sutton with AgNav. Today I'm going to talk about how to generate a report with a map background. First thing we have to do is open Spray View. And that looks good. Now I have to load in some flight areas. So I'll go to the Open Area folder. Now on my folders I like to use checkboxes. And uh, if you like that option, you can go into Control Panel, Folder, Options, and select Use Checkboxes. So all my files are selected, open. Now if I only have one polygon, then the flight data window will pop with it. But if I have more than one, then I have to go to the menu, Add Flight Data, select my files, open. You have to load the spray data in before you can create your map. And make sure your map is centered on the screen the way you want it to be on the report. To create the report, we will go to the menu. And we'll select Create Report with Map. And I have some default settings here. And so I'll use the checkbox to load those in. And once you fill out the reports, if everything's going to be the same and you want to save that, you can click Save Default. I like to put mine in the spray zone. There it is there. And same thing if you want to load your defaults in, they're in the spray zone. And I guess we can create the report. We'll have to use a slider bar to see the whole thing. And we have the option to print it, or I can save it as a PDF. So that's what I'm going to do. And I want to save it in the Spray Zone folder. And I think I will change the name to something I can recognize. That is good. Save. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, we're looking for a spray report. And it's a PDF file. We'll go ahead and open it up. And it looks pretty good. Scroll a little bit to see the bottom now. What I would like to do is show you how to put a Google Map behind this. So we'll go ahead and do that report. To do a Google Map, you first have to load your polygons in and then play the spray data. Once that is finished, we will go to the uh, Google icon here and download the map. Continue. Okay, that is the map for the spray zones. And I'll come up to the left hand corner with a little check mark and save it. Give it a couple seconds and close it out. Now, to load this in, I will go to the menu, add map. This is a JPEG here. Okay, here's the map. Now I have to I have the polygons and I have to load in the flight data. The grid lines and polygons are a little hard to see. And I know the flight data is going to be hard to see too because it's all in black. So I want to change the colors. I want to change the um, spray area to yellow. And the flight path to yellow. And the grid lines to yellow. Save it. Now I will play the data. Once the data has played, we can go ahead and create a report. 
menu, create report with map, so check out your data and make sure that you have all the proper entries and if it all looks good then you can go ahead and create the report. This is what the report looks like, and we can come up here and save it, rename it, save. Now we can pull up that report and see what it looks like. Right here, spray report. And you have your spray report with a Google map background. That's it, thank you.